What's up guys, we're here, welcome back to the channel. So today I wanted to make a video about the gauntlet, which I'm having an absolute blast grinding. We are currently ranked 134 on the Sork ladder, okay, with a score of 699,000. The leaderboards is actually absolutely chalked. There's now four people with over a million score, which is just crazy. I don't know how they're doing it, you'll have to explain it to me. Uh, but we're 134 now, and we're getting to the point now where like a thousand or two thousand points really makes the difference here. So I kind of just wanted to go over my thoughts and you know my thoughts about the the gauntlet and what I think so far. So we've been grinding since last night. Um, we've been perfecting two different routes, which I will have separate videos for guys. Um, so big shout out to Barricade and uh, Rob for those. But the gauntlet overall has been just a blast i'm kind of hooked it's really really cool to just kind of go through these maps and just kind of highlight things and take a look at stuff i will have down in the description below that over um what is it uh over on d4builds.gg thanks to i think it's north war um this is the the actual route and you can see like the elite packs and the lock chests, the large ones and the small ones um and it's really cool because you can create a screenshot and just kind of go through and just look at stuff. So this is the very first route that I was doing. And then we have another route that I'm doing after that. So I'll have separate videos for those, like I said. But, um, you know, when I talked about this and was like, there's no strategy, there is 100% a strategy. Now, a few things that I want to talk about. Let's talk about the good. I think this is really cool. You're racing, right? We finally got leaderboards and something to really, you know, just... Our competitive edge, right? Everybody has a competitive spirit to some degree. Some people may not care. Some people think, you know, they, they want to get rank one. Um, Sork has been absolutely just blasting everything. If we look at uh, Barbarians, uh, or yeah, this is Barbarians now. Rob is actually fallen. I don't even, oh, Rob is one. Okay, Rob is one at 900. They're almost to a million. All right. Surprisingly, Necros are at 750K. Then you got Sorks, which is over a million. We got Rogues, which are 775K. And then Druids, which we're going to try later, are only at 800K. Kind of. Like, I was expecting a lot more from Druid, if I'm being honest. Uh, Ro uh, Necro seems about right because of their speed issues. Rogue has surprised me a lot because Rogues are fast. So they must just have a real hard time clearing or killing bosses. But just to have a leaderboard and something to race to and have the ego, right? Your rank one or rank whatever. Um, it's a, it's a, it like kind of reinvigorated me as far as Diablo just to, now we have more purpose to kind of maximize our builds. We have more purpose to like min max these and get the exact build that we have right. Okay. So the gauntlet has been really fun. It's really great to race and compete on the boards, but now let's talk a few about, um, a f like, you know what? One last thing is the strategy. The strategy in this is very important, not only from getting the particular pillars in a certain order, but the route that you take and then knowing which, uh, if we come back to here, which elite packs actually spawn and don't respawn. So an example here is this elite pack down here does not respawn. So you will kill this elite pack one time. And then even if you hit a pillar to respawn everybody, uh, excuse me, the provings, this elite pack does not respawn. So that's why like on my route, these elite packs here will always respawn with the bosses and the elite packs down here also respawn. These three elite packs here always respawn. The same thing with this elite pack here. So it's just very interesting to know we have sections that we don't even use. So there is 100% of full strategy that goes into this. And in my videos below, I got to stick my foot in the mouth because I was like, you're just going to run around with a chicken with your head cut off and you're not going to really care. No, you need to have a route down or your score is going to suffer. So now let's get into the bad, okay? Because there's always good with the bad, right? So the bad thing is that this is 100% reliant on speed. Speed is the most important thing when it comes to the gauntlet above anything else, even above your attack power, okay? Even above your attack power, even above how much damage you're doing, speed is 100% of the essence, all right armor and resistances do not matter okay this is a tier 70 nightmare dungeon you don't need to have these maxed i've been sitting at 5200 armor no problem you can see from my runs that we post here on the channel that 
it does not matter. Like, I barely take damage. If I do take a, a couple hits, it's no big deal. I get my life back, no problem. So, the fact that you don't have to build for any kind of defenses is... You know, we're, swing, we're swinging the pendulum the other direction, right? Because you had AOZ, which really focused it on make sure you had the combination of your defenses plus your armor, right? Your, your max reses, make sure you get your armor up. And then you also need to be doing enough damage to actually push and get through it. It was kind of building the most perfect character that you could. And for the gauntlet, it's all about speed. Now, damage is second, so you need to be able to do some decent damage here. However, the pillars that you get from killing the bosses help you 100%. When you get artillery, when you get blast wave, and then resource, you just fly through this, okay? You fly, fly through this, you kill everything in a blink of an eye, so you don't need as much damage as you think you do. Second, and something that you would want to consider adding on here, is shrine buff duration. Yes, this does increase the duration of the shrines that you get, in this dungeon which is very very important all right if we go here and look this is also one big negative when you look at leaderboards and this is something that i wish blizzard would change being able to view the profile of somebody who got rank one or the high ranks is is really nice it's kind of like well what am i doing differently why are they possibly getting this huge score you know what are they using right and i kind of get it from the player perspective like you don't want to see people copy your build maybe or whatnot but this is a public event with your information being public here i don't think it's a big problem to have your profile be viewed so you can just kind of see you can see the skill bar you can see what they're using here this person's using arc lash with blizzard and you're just kind of like speeding through this right you get to see everything pain gorgers right and you get to see what they got which i think is is really really nice right so it's, I think all profiles should be open when viewing on the ladder, but when you're in like the normal game and somebody comes up and press E's and wants to inspect you, if you want to be private, perfectly okay. But you're competing on a public thing here, a public like competition, and it'd be really nice just to have that open to everybody. Uh, next is the, uh, on top of your gear is like, you don't even need to min max. Like, you can, but, like, I'm still using, like, 871 gear in some cases, and we're just annihilating this, right? Um, the other big negative that we don't know yet is when you do finish the dungeon, you do get four pieces of gear each time you finish. So, it's like doing a nightmare dungeon, for those who don't know. You get four random pieces of gear. Um, the gear drops have been pretty much in the final category from 875 or higher, which is pretty nice. Uh, now, when you do get to the end of the week, because this is a question I get brought up in my chat a lot, is the rewards. Okay, so you're going to earn these at the end of the week. Okay, you're going to get all of these rewards at the end of the week, and this is solely based on where you place. Okay, it's not like your, your leaderboard rank, but it's your normal rank. So worthy is the highest, and this is going to give you the best possible gear drops, meaning that your these caches are going to give you 925 gear. All right. Now, the thing that we do not know, because the devs haven't told us, is that we don't know if we can get Uber Uniques in these caches, but we also don't know that we can't. All right. We don't know. We And if we can get Uber Uniques in these caches, we don't know what the drop rates are. If they apply to like a Durial rate where it's 2%, or if it's an open world rate where it's like 0.00001%. So we don't know that for the, all, everybody who's wondering, okay? But you do get these rewards at the end of each week, and you do get, you know, your your uh, your seals and all that stuff, okay? So overall, I've been thoroughly enjoying the the uh, gauntlet. I think it's an absolute blast trying to perfect like a route and trying to kind of perfect a build from a speed perspective because that's the kind of content I love. I do enjoy pushing. Um, but it's, it's pushing is just kind of like you have to play the best. And this is also a negative to the gauntlet because when you look on the leaderboards, you can see that, you know, even if you scroll down, if I scroll down a good ways, like to 49, let's see if this person, oh, they're private. Everybody's private for some reason. Yep. Everybody's private. This is great. So like this person also ball lightning. So you're still seeing the similar 
like builds, right? So then it just comes down to skill issue as far as like how well can you navigate your build? How well can you kind of navigate your route and utilize those things in combination, right? So I do wish that we had a little bit more categories. Uh, it's a real bummer that they didn't do it like D3, where like D3 is categorized by not only class, but by your set. I wish we could do this by class, by skill, but obviously that would just be way too hard. So, um, yeah, those are kind of just my overall thoughts right now, guys. Let me know what you think down in the comments below if you guys are playing. Make sure to let me know what rank you guys are. Join the Discord link down in the description below. we got a huge community that just is all about helping each other and showcasing like their accomplishments which is awesome uh but yeah guys like the video comment down below let me know what you guys think please be constructive it's awesome get the conversation going don't forget to subscribe and as always stay gaming and i'll see you guys in the next one peace